presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week. I want to thank uh, man Jacob for doing my show all week. I went on a nice sail, folks. I sailed from Newport to the Vineyard, all in Vineyard Sound, and then back. It was a beautiful thing. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action. It's not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 179, NASDAQ up 159, S&P's up 37. Gold, gold contract up $5.20, traded at 2,543 an ounce. We have silver up 53 cents, $29.80 an ounce, light three crew down 210. $74.55 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now trading up three ticks at 113.07. The 30-year up 17 ticks at 124.07 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 576 ticks, 101.886. Euro at 110, yen 146, British pound at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's go take a look at the E-mini first and see what we got. We go. We've been going higher. The volume's been contracting beyond belief. That being said, this is already in the SPY, folks, almost a 10% bounce. So it's about as intense as you can get. That being said, okay, let's take a look at this E-mini. You're up 37 bucks. You had, oh, look at this. You had volume 10 minutes ago. That being, yeah. Bottom line, this thing's going to hold, man. That, that bar from 10 minutes ago, you know, with, yeah, that bar wants to, wants to hold there. Let's, let's see what the, the NQs. Now, the SPY is much stronger than the Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Well, same deal, though. It's going to hold out here today. That's what it looks like. Yeah, my take is it's going to hold today. That's from 10 minutes ago. That being said, uh, when you look at it on a longer basis, <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, how this thing's going to come down. Meaning, you know, the first time that we take a turn here. I mean, if you look at the cues, you're talking about a contraction, man. It's pretty amazing. We pull this up, and inside the cues, the contraction of volume is just huge out here today, man. I mean, it's really pretty intense. Yeah. And you're at the 0.76. Well, you're almost at the 0.76. Gold, uh, bottom line, folks, okay, you know, if you are in the gold market, well, guess what? Bottom line, this thing's going to break topside. Friday was a huge day in the gold market for the gold equities also. And they're all going. They're not all going, Okay. But the bottom line is that they are breaking topside in a, in a monster way. Let's go to Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? You there, Costa? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? I sure can, pal. How you doing? Great. I'm doing fine. Good. I'm a happy camper, Tommy. I got new morning. 33. What's, can you put a one-year yep. price target? I bought it last February. One year price target, do you? Let's take a look. 29 is the low, 51, 39 is the high. That's out here today. That's the last 12 months. 
And I would stay right there because Costa, what's happening right now, Friday was a monster day for the equities, for, for the stronger equities, let's put it this way, in the gold market. Um, we take a look at this. You know, it would be nice if you had a little more volume today, but the bottom line is that your next stop on this is 55 bucks. You break 55, man, and, you know, I think that this, this run's really starting now. Now, now you're going to start seeing straight line moves. So what you can do, you know, of course, keep your stop in. Just keep trailing a stop. And don't put it too tight because if this is the run, it, you know, you've had a good run because, you know, you had a lot of guts down at, down at the lows here, okay? But the bottom line is that this wants to go a lot farther, man. So, um, you know, I would just bring the, st the stops up and stay aware of when, you know, in this particular case, they're not coming out with earnings uh, cost until October 25th. So you actually won't have even a pre-announcement till, you know, end of September if, the, if there is one. The, the caveat here is because the S&P and the Qs have gone so dramatically with no volume, it's like, okay, they take a hit, gold's going to take a hit. We know how this goes. That being said, though, I'm really bullish, and I know tomorrow morning, I wanted to watch this market today, we're going to be buying a few gold stocks for sure. Because um, they're broken topside. Some of them are broken topside. They have the volume. There's ABC structures there. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's more than a handful that are no good. But when you take the context, if I take, you know, 25 gold equities, five might be no good, but the rest of them, are, they're trending, man, and they want to go higher. So I would just stay right there and ride the baby. Okay, my next question on gold. Yes. Dan, Dan, Harry Dent just came out, said 11,000 on gold. Can yeah, Harry Dent's that? out of his mind. Harry, Harry Dent told me, I think, 20,000 in 1998. <laughs> I've, I've interviewed yeah. Harry Dent a bunch of times, man. Yeah. It's, it, okay. What happens in this right. business, if you can either sell fear or sell something extraordinary, that's what goes. Do you know what I'm saying? If you say that, you know, you got a crystal ball and it's going to go up to 11,000, you get business. If you say that, you know, it's the end of the world, it's Armageddon, you get business. It's the, you know, so it is what it is. I'd, okay, my, my last question. What happens to gold if we get a depression? If, up, down, if, stable. Well, what would end up happening is that the everything would go down. I mean, that's a you know, I don't see a depression coming. But if you have a depression, no, everything I goes down. I understand that. Huh? I understand that. Yeah. Well, if it did ever happen, I'm, I'm it, just saying if it, it will go down. I mean, a, a depression, every asset class goes down. There's no, there's nothing that doesn't go down. The only thing that probably goes up, up is the amount of guns that are sold. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> because right. people will be hurting. So, I mean. Okay, Tom. Thanks. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow right. Industrials right now up a buck seventy. Get the Nasdaq up one sixty two. S and P's are up thirty six. Stay right there, folks. Got my man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up next. <laughs> If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is trading up 175. We've got the Nasdaq up 161. S&Ps are up 37. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. <clears throat> and don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN. You can see it right on the right-hand side, Master and Probability. You can get Master and Probability for one year for 100 and one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which saves you almost $600, $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Come on over, hit that button, and you will be off to the races. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I was actually just texting with my daughter, who is in London. She and three friends flew over to London, you're not going to believe this, to see the Taylor Swift concert. Wow. It was cheaper for them to fly over there, buy tickets, than to get good seats at where they, she lives up in Atlanta, but any place in the U.S. How and, cool is that? And then she wanted to, she wanted a little vacation. They all wanted a little vacation, but she was texting me and sent me a list. She said, which of these bottles of sake should we get with dinner? You know, you gotta love, love being a dad, right? You gotta love that man. I mean, you talk totally. about a thinking woman. Wow, that is so cool. I love that when that happens. I mean, think about it. She gets to go to London. It's cheaper yeah. than it is in the U.S. Have a blast. Exactly. What a brand exactly. uh, Taylor Swift is. Huh? Oh man. Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't, I don't know a single one of her songs necessarily, but you know, but uh, it, it is quite, a, like you said, it is quite a brand that she has uh, put together. Pretty right cool, there. man. And yeah. of course, he, yeah, she has the sake father, so she's all set with the best sake. <laughs> exactly. I had sent, sent her a text the other day. One of my favorite restaurants over there yeah. is called Zuma, Z-U-M-A. Okay. Um, and there's a handful of them around in the in the U.S. And it's just a, over there, though, was the original one. Just a great vibe and everything. So uh, I'm not sure if that's where she's at tonight. But it was cool just to get that text just before that cool? I was coming, you know, coming on here with you. So. No doubt. Hey, you know, one of the tools, one of the things that I had added to the uh, newsletter report is this chart that we have up here on the screen. Okay. And so I know a lot of people will listen in and they can take a snapshot of this. And, and I would suggest that they do that. And I'll describe to you what this report uh, does. So I take all of the uh, uh, most, the, the more popular future contracts, uh, the index ETFs. You know, SPY, Q, Diamonds, yes. IWM, each of the sectors in the S&P 500, our top 10 uh, NDX 100 stocks, uh, uh, stocks, yeah, the top 10 in the Dow, and then, a, and then a few others. For example, you had a call from Costa, and uh, he was asking about... Um, Newmont. 
Yeah. Newmont, Newmont Lighting. Here, for example, somebody, uh, a subscriber asked me to just keep a Nico Eagle in. So if you take a look at this bottom row, I took a snapshot of this, um, you know, maybe a half an hour ago. It's trained at 8080. Here, uh, I also identify the structure or, or, or what I – how I identify utilizing my tools, what the message of the market is, and for the daily time frame, the current outlook, like you identified, you you mentioned this to uh, to cost as well. Nico Eagle is in a breakout bull mode out there. Yes. Now, what this also does, and the benefit of this uh, tool out here for these popular inst instruments, is identify support. Whether it's a daily TD9 count support, and that's another tool that you know I share with folks and teach them how to utilize inside the uh, uh, workshops that I put together. But in case of, so if you're looking for someone trading Nico Eagle and you're asking where's levels of support? Well, you've got a breakout level support down at 64, uh, 65. You've got profile support at 78, 16. So, you know, just a few dollar move to the downside, you touch that area and you close back above it, no big deal. Support here, so, so, um, these also help to identify for folks that let's say are long an instrument or short instrument, uh, where to add. To the position, and so you've got 78.44 for Ignico Eagle is an oscillator and change line uh, tool that I use nice. out there. So, so just to, for the popular instruments, it's really you know you can start each day as well as the end of the day. I put it in my end of day reports as well. So I thought I'd share that with you and the listeners out there. No, last that, week, that is great. And, week, and folks, yeah. remember this program's archived, so what Steve's showing, you can yeah. see it all. If you're in your car, you can see it all. And of course, you can get his newsletter. But tonight, as you're coming home and getting out of your car, don't go pulling up right now. But you want to look at this list. It's, a, and a, it's an extensive list, folks. OK, this took yes. up the whole screen. OK, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's great. It's great. Last last week, uh, Jacob and I, we were talking about the Dow. So I wanted to just switch this up this week for the S&P 500. Yes. And um, so this is the 96 year seasonal cycle. That's all the data that I've got. And on this chart here, it says beware of September. If you look at the bottom right, uh, monthly average, you can see September is just the, the worst performance of a month. You got February and May, which aren't the best. And so what this shows us is that typically on a, uh, on a uh, uh, 96 year cycle, we typically see a top towards the end of September. So towards the end of next week. So I just want people to be aware of that. Now we don't use this, Tom, as a right to the day guideline. It's more with regard to you know what's going on what what's the typical seasonal cycle and then we look for top or bottom signals out here yes i've reduced it from 96 years somebody might say hey that's a ton of data about 25 years well here's a 25 year cycle and this too this suggests that the average on average over the 25 year period you get a top around september 10th if we look at a 15 year seasonal cycle this suggests we get a top right around september the 16th so folks should be just kind of noting those dates out there the 96 year presidential so we first looked at the 96 year period uh, that had all the years you can see the check boxes up above show you the presidential election years and in this case here this suggests that we would see a top right around september the 7th out there and again all those that were showing top show us moving down into the september or october time frame here's a 25 year presidential cycle which has only got really uh, six data points out there so not as good but even here this tells us we should anticipate or expect a top in the s p uh, uh, august 28th through september 2nd out there a 10-year cycle when i say 10-year cycle i'm talking 2024 2014 2004 each 10 years out there this tells us we typically see a top around august the 25th so what's interesting here tom is if we go through all the cycle charts that i can come up with yes uh, even if i look at even year cycle charts they all suggest that we should see some kind of top between august 25th and the and the 7th what we didn't know last week when jacob and i were on was uh it was september going to form a top or a bottom because it can do both at this stage here. And with this rally that's going on, what it's signaling to me is that it's going to be the top. So we didn't know that next last Monday, but I believe we do that. We do know that now we should expect and anticipate a top. This is the daily S&P 500, daily, weekly and monthly. And on the left hand side, what folks should see is that we are in bar number seven. OK, and we know that when we get to a, a TD nine count pattern, it's typically bar number. Well, it, the high has to. And this is what we're talking about highs that has to occur, Tom, on bars eight, nine or the bar following nine. In fact, if we move over and take a look at the weekly chart, this formed a TD nine count top on the bar following bar number nine. It also formed a roads momentum indicator top that took price back to support, which was that breakout level. Fifty one forty two. Wow. One of those levels that were really identified in that first uh, set of charts that we looked at that uh, I 
where I gave people that information. You'll see a TD9 count top that's going to form uh, next Friday inside on a monthly basis. So when we put this together, what, what I would suggest is that we're going to form bar number seven today. This tells me that the S&P 500 is likely to top between tomorrow and Thursday of this week out there. Um, so that's so even though that's sooner than the than the dates that we were looking for, again, I really use that as more of a guideline yes. versus right to the day. Uh, the S&P 500, this is going to be the eighth straight day of higher closes to the upside. That alone is pretty significant out there. Doesn't mean we're going to get a pull back, but we're certainly getting very, very close to that. Now, if I take a look at the other indices out here, the Dow Diamonds, the NDX 100, the Sox, the Composite, um, they're all the same category where they should form a top between tomorrow and Thursday. Hey, folks, it's time to get Steve's newsletter right now. Real easy. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit that newsletter button. It's on the right-hand side. Hit measure and probability. You are off to the races. Steve, have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Fridays. For his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow's up 170, NASDAQ's up 177, S&P's are up 39. Let's go to Palo Alto because uh, 
Uh, they're going to be coming out with numbers right after the close here. And the last time they come out with numbers, this thing got smoked, man. Now, it's come all the way back just about. The lows, 224. The highs, 380. They're going to be looking, let's see what they're saying here. They're going to be looking to take in 2.2 billion, which is 200,000 more, no, 200 million more <laughs> than last quarter, and bring $1.41 to the bottom line. Let's just go see. It's, it's really wild, actually, because, you know, the stock has been up like $80. But that being said, um, it looks like it never went down when it, <laughs> when it went down pretty good. Now, what it's doing out here today, let's see. That's a daily. So I do 5.4 versus 3.8. Put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, it doesn't look to me like this thing's going to be able to fly. You're right next to the highs, though. I mean, the highs are 383. They're 340. When I say right next to them, last time it came out with numbers, folks, it went down to 240. It went from three, 360. Yeah, it went from 369 to 280, like in a heartbeat. And I don't think there's going to be any better here. My cousin's going to kill me, too. He works for <laughs> Palo Alto. But bottom line is that that's, it looks to me like that's not going to fly. Some of the higher volume equities that we have. Uh, well, actually, let's go to the dollar first, because the dollar, I want to get on this gold market a bit here. So the dollar, you're down over half a penny today, 500 ticks. Yeah, you're breaking lower. This thing's going to 99. We take a look at this. So a break of, well, actually, we're already in the lower range. As soon as you went under 103, 800, you got in the lower range. We're at 101, 800. Now, the bottom of this range is approximately 100, 800. 100 point, 100 point eight. Two, two. You break that, and guess what? Then you're talking 98, 233. You break that, and then you're talking uh, 72. That'd be pretty intense, 72, man. Now, we go to the gold market. We take a look at gold. So, when you have a gold, you're up 550 right now. We put this, and what you're going to see here, now this is where this gets really strong. We have been in a consolidation, folks, since April of 2024. So, no, hold it. Yeah, April 2024. We've been up here five, one, four times. It's actually failed. One, two, three, four. We've failed four times. You know, so the real kicker is, can it get over this whole consolidation and can it get away from the consolidation you have to get away from the consolidation that's the big thing here they put this in a five-year monthly let's see what happens here five-year monthly oh look at that now now you're talking holy cow oh no 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 hold it i gotta do the gld for this one second yeah that looked that looked awesome but you know what that was folks okay you're only getting one contract in it so now let me put this, I'm going to put this at a five-year monthly. This is going to be the GLD. So we broke top side, we broke with volume. Oh, this is good. Okay, one second. Let me do this one. 206. Oh, that's good. That's 30, 38 would be A to B. 38. That's 44, 244. Four. So let's pull this back. So you get an ABC up to 244 four on the GLD. That is saying that you are going to have the gold contract, GCA, bust top side. Okay, so we're there now. So now the question is GC1. I'll do a, I'm going to do a generic gold contract so we can see what our next level would be. Okay, so oh, this would be pretty cool. So we already broke there. Okay, I do it this way. It's 2488. That's 130. So 24, 25, 38. Hmm. Well, 25, 38 is the next move. 
we put this, which isn't that much further than we are. I'm going to put it on a 15 here now. Oh, I see, I see. Cool, cool. Hold on one second. Different, different animal. Okay, I get this now. Oh, watch this one. 2063. Let's do this one. <laughs> that is nine. No, eight. Eight, zero, zero. No, it's nine. 900, we get you. Oh, still, okay. It, we're getting close to the, yeah, see, this gets interesting. Because even the, on this large one that you're looking at right here, that projection on a one-to-one -one is 2511. And we hit 2508 today. Now, what gold loves to do is more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure up or ABC structure down. 1920, let me try this one. So... That's 900 on top of that one. Yeah, well, okay, so there's another way that, that's, that's at 2,800. So 25 to 28. I suspect that's exactly what we're going to get to. This thing wants to go. The, on Friday, some of these equities, I mean, they're strong, man, really strong. Some of the higher volume equities, even though the volume is really light out here today, is you have NVIDIA. That's trading up four and a half bucks. Tesla's up six bucks. You got Advanced Micro up six the uh let's see inside the ndx let's go inside the ndx so inside the ndx you have aluminum up four percent amd up four madeira up 3.8 nvidia up 3.5 taken away from its topics down 2.4 you got cdw down two fast and all off 1.5 and then, if you haven't heard this, this is pretty intense, man. You got the guy, um, what was his name? Hmm. One second, hold on. Britons. This was, this was sad. This was pretty intense, actually. One of the, where are you, man? Um, oh, yeah, and by the way, so check this out. What happened today, a gold bar, folks, now, this is the first time it ever broke a million dollars. So gold bars, the ones they keep at the, the Fed and keep at the CBOE, uh, 400 ounces. Today's the first day that they, uh, 400 ounces broke the 1 million mark. So not bad, huh? One gold bar's worth a million. When I started the, um, <laughs> when I started the gold report, it was one-tenth of this. Think about that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. There's no better time than now to sign up for Live Trading Fridays. Why is that? That's because the next trading session, this Friday, August 23rd, coincides with Jerome Powell's Jackson Hole speech. Chairman Powell's comments have the power to greatly move the market, and Larry is ready to capture those gains on the moves. Use code LARRYAUG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month. See you there, Tigers. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow is up 170, NASDAQ is up 174, S&Ps are up 38. And, yeah, here's the story. Now, this is pretty intense, man. So you had the tech um, the tycoon, uh, Mike Lynch, and he just finished a 13-year ordeal. Uh, he sold autonomy to Hewitt Packet in 2011 at $11 billion. And the bottom line is that uh, the fight has been on since then because uh, the, the, well, Hewitt Packard plus prosecutors thought the guy committed fraud. Make a long story short, bottom line is that he went to trial, took 13 years to go to trial, went to trial 10 weeks ago in San Francisco. They ex extradited him from Europe. Bottom line, not guilty, right? Okay, so that's, that, that does that. Now, check this out. They are celebrating in off the coast of Sicily. And he has a hundred and if you're going to see this boat, folks, I sail, man, I'd love to sail something like this. I need help, but I'd love to sail. This was a 182 foot sailboat. Amazing. And unfortunately, what ended up happening is a tornado came in. OK, now picture this. He's actually anchored. So when you anchor it up, folks, two different things end up happening. Most of the time, you're pretty safe because if you've got good anchorage, the bottom line is that, you know, you're talking about sophisticated people that are running a boat like this, that's for sure. Bottom line, most of the time you get a, you know, good bottom, you're all set, right? That being said, the bad part about that is what actually probably happened here. And what happened, the tornado hit them. It doesn't say whether it's in the middle of the night, but the, the ship, went down like immediately. I mean, you're talking about within three minutes or something. And unfortunately, he's missing. There's, you know, five or six other people missing. They've, they've recovered 15 people. Uh, it doesn't say just yet, you know, the missing American, British, Canadian, bottom line, it's, it's a sad deal. Um, and the key, <laughs> well, not the key, folks, the bottom line, enjoy every day. Because I'm sure that they're out there celebrating after a 13-year ordeal. Bottom line, you get not guilty. All of a sudden, you know, yeah, you're celebrating and then bang, that's it. It's all she wrote. Pretty intense, man. No doubt about that. We go take a look at the inside the Dow Industrials. Yeah, I want to see. Let's see what kind of retracement the Dow did. Because the Dow, okay, it's, it's almost 100%. That's going to go. What was so intriguing about speaking with Steve, and don't forget, folks, if you're in a your car, that you can get, you know, when you get home, the program's archive. Just go to YouTube so you can see that whole list with Steve. Um, and when we look at this Dow, man, <laughs> I mean, the Dow, the high is 41,300. That's only 500, 500 points away. And then if we go, watch this. This gets sick. This is, you know, my take is we're going back down to taste, to take, to test those low. Because well, look at look at the look at, it, this is so consistent it's unbelievable. So last last Wednesday we did 5.2 million shares in the diamonds. Thursday we did 3.7. Friday we did 2.7. Today is 1.5. 
The cues, the same deal, man. This is like, and it, so the way this is setting up, this is going to get interesting, man. So the cues, well, the cues had not bad volume Friday, Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday, they both did 38 million. Now, you're going into 45 and 56. But today, look at this contraction today, 17, 17. It's just filling the gap. Let's see what this gap was. We went to 479, 59. The gap, well, it didn't hit it yet. It's 48014. 48014 is the number. So <laughs> the setup seems to me is coming in pretty right because it's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You just heard the ad for Larry. Larry's going to be trading live. So it's going to be a great uh, setup because of the fact Larry goes from 9 to 12. So you can check that out the front page of TFNN. What happens at Jackson Hole is this, is that the speech will get released, I believe, as soon as the market opens, or it might get released a little bit before that. If he's talking at 10 Eastern Standard Time, I believe that's 8 in Jackson Hole. I think it's two hours. Um, and they do release his speech first. So the real question is going to be on that speech is that is he going to give more evidence and concrete, concrete evidence that he's going to go down on rates or not. My take is that he's not going to, okay, because he plays things, you know, pretty close to the vest and they're basically consistent. And it wouldn't be consistent for him to turn around and say, oh, yes, we are going to go now, in particular, because what, what we have is this, is that the Fed meeting, okay, September 14th, I think, calendar. September 18th. Okay, so it's on the 18th, but when you look at the calendar, that means we have one more jobs number before the 18th. So I suspect his answer is going to be that we need more information, and that information is going to be coming out, you know, bottom line, before that next meeting. So we'll see where this whole thing shakes. You can see how this can shake, rattle, and roll, meaning, you know, day by day, depending on what the market does, <laughs> That depends on what the Fed's going to do. If we take a look at the 10-year to get us some clarity as to what market participants are doing, market participants are basically saying that, hey, man, we're going down on rates. Let's see. So TY1. And we're going up on price. So if I take this and I put this also, I'm going to put the 10-year on a generic one so you can see what the next move would be. I hope we can speculate what the next move would be. So first, I'm going to put on a five-year weekly. On a five-year weekly, the next move in the 10 is 116.26, and or at 113. It already took out the swing. The swing is 113.12. We got over that, and we got over that with conviction, then we pulled back with light volume. So your next move is going to be a big one, man. You know, three points is a big number. And I suspect this is where this is going to come down on these Fed meetings and come down on the aspect, okay, you know, do they go a quarter point and do they start going a quarter point at every single meeting? That seems reasonable. What I expect would happen is that if, in fact, this market goes test these lows between September and October, then you would see the Fed. Let's do this again. One second. Here's the meetings. So it's September 18th. Oh, and then November 7th. Okay, so it's like six weeks. Then November 7th. Then, then on November 7th, you could, you could... This is... You know what's so wild about this? Is that there's still plenty of analysts that are saying that, hey, man, we're going to go down, you know, half to three quarters of a point, maybe a full point. Now, I can see how that could happen because there actually is three more meetings. And out of the full year, there's only eight meetings. So there's three more. So percentage-wise, you get uh, September 18th, November 7th, and December 18th. Yeah, that's, that's plenty of time that uh, you'd really get some things going. So if we go take a look. I was just going over the whole housing market. We'll do that next. Dow. Dow's up 175. Nasdaq's up 174. Nas S no, S&P's are up 39. Come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is up 178, NASDAQ up 206, SPs are up 43. And if we go over, let's go to Toll Brothers first. We take a look at Toll Brothers. You know, these builders, they're actually held up pretty well. I mean, you know, the, the, we just had a downdraft when the market went down from uh, 146 down into 123. You're at 133, Toll Brothers. Because what you will see is this. Yeah, these, these are going to go. Look at that. Actually, when you look at the chart here, this is strong. It's amazing, actually. And what this is all about, this is all about the aspect of waiting for rates to start falling. Because what does happen is that as soon as you start seeing rates fall, the, the market itself, the real estate market, will pick up. What happened, if you're following this in general, uh, in the UK, they already, just that 25% uh, 25 percent, 25 basis points, okay, quarter percent reduced hike actually brought up the monthly numbers, okay, by 23 percent. That was pretty intense, man, you know. So, and I suspect what that is, that's going to be first movers understanding that, okay, I am going to finally bite the bullet versus, you know, like this could have happened a year ago, but it didn't. Uh, and there's, there's certainly people when, when it's not going down that it's like, okay, I will buy now i'll refinance the deal going forward bottom line that's what i expect the first buyers will actually be the first buyers will uh as the rate starts coming down you know it'll be one of those deals that i say okay in two or three years i'll refinance 
Uh, I don't see, actually, let's do this. Let's go to, let's see, 10 year, 10 year. Okay, one second. Yield. Yeah, let's pull this. I haven't pulled this one for a while. Here we go. Good. Okay. This will be good because this this is reversing where we stand. Okay, cool. So we're at 3.8. We pull this up. Well, this is good. Next move is 2. Oh, 3.2. 3.8, 3.2. a big number. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. We'll get him, folks. Building